An autopsy report obtained by Access Hollywood on Friday confirms country star Naomi Judd died by suicide. The report indicates that Judd died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in her home in Tennessee. It also states that she left a note with suicidal connotations nearby. The autopsy also showed several prescription drugs in her system that are used to treat post-traumatic stress disorder and bipolar disorder. In the report, assistant medical examiner Emily H. Dennison says Judd had a past medical history of anxiety, depression, and bipolar disorder, among other things. According to family, she had prior suicidal thoughts and recent life stressors. Quote, We have always shared openly both the joys of being family as well as sorrows too. One part of our story is that our matriarch was dodged by an unfair foe. The toxology and autopsy reports are as we expected. She was treated for PTSD and bipolar disorder to which millions of Americans can relate. We continue to reel from this devastation. We appreciate respectful privacy as we, her widower and children mourn. Please lift up in your prayers and thoughts all those who live with mental illness and their loved ones. If you or someone you know is considering suicide, please contact the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline by dialing 988. Her family said in a statement to Access Hollywood. The Judd family consulted Dr. Casey Arney regarding the prescriptions Naomi was taking at the time, and he provided the following statement. Quote, I am a board-certified psychiatrist in private practice in Nashville, Tennessee. I have reviewed a list of Naomi Judd's psychiatrist medication at the time of her death, and it is consistent with usual and customary treatment for bipolar disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder. Judd was found unresponsive in her home by family on April 30th. She was then transported to Williamson Medical Center, where she was pronounced dead around 12.30 p.m. She died one day before her and her daughter, Wynonna Judd, were inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Her second daughter, Ashley Judd, previously confirmed to Good Morning America's Diane Sawyer in May that her mother, quote, used a firearm when she died. The autopsy report comes a week after Ashley Winona and Naomi's husband, Larry Strickland, filed a petition in Tennessee asking to seal police records and recordings surrounding the death. Earlier this month, it was revealed that the late country superstar left her only two daughters out of her will and testament, according to documents obtained by NBC News. She appointed her husband of 33 years as the executor of her estate according to court documents. The will was prepared on November 20th, 2017, which was nearly five years before Naomi died. Neither Winona or Ashley have given any indication that there was tension between them and their mother since her passing. Anna, spokesperson for the family, told Access that there is no dispute over her will.